Hi everyone, today we've come out to Rangura to our roastery cafe and I thought it'd be great if we could just go through some of the processes that we've been talking about. Today we're going to see Josh doing a little bit of roasting. Hopefully you'll get a little bit of extra information out of hanging out with us today here at Coffee Works at Rangura. Hey, my name's Josh. Um, I do the coffee roasting here at Coffee Works. We do about sort of eight different blends that we've got here. This is a Garanti uh, 30 kg roaster from Turkey that we that we use here. We roast about 20 kgs at a time, and we do a thing called uh, pre-blending. So what we do is we measure up our roasts, ratio them up, chuck them up into here, which is the uh, hopper, and um, from there we drop down into the called the drum roaster. And so we usually drop in around 200 to you know maybe a little bit higher than that, 200 degrees around about though. The gas comes up from the bottom and basically the drum rotates around, and so that's just, that's just cooking the whole time. We um, cap it off at 210, so we don't go any higher than that, and uh, basically that'll do its thing for sort of around 20 minutes uh, per roast. So around the sort of 16 to 17 minute mark, we'll start getting a thing called a first crack, so it's when the beans first start to crack, and that will sort of last around a minute, and then from there it's about an extra couple of minutes before the roast is finished and ready to come out into the cooling tray. So it's usually around sort of 19 to 21 minutes that that takes. Some roasters will obviously roast you know, a little bit uh, less, some will you know, roast longer, so we're aiming for the second crack just to start coming through a little bit louder. When it's quite sort of prominent, that's when I pull out usually. So I've been working for Deb for probably about five years. I sort of do a bit of supervising in the cafe as well, and basically there was just an opening with the roasting. Andrea was finishing up, uh, she was the roaster before me. Got trained up by her, started learning, um, you know, getting a bit more passionate about coffee and, and all the ins and outs of it. So that's basically why I wanted to learn how to roast. Um, really like my coffee, I'll probably drink about four a day. My morning one I have about uh, four shots in it, so yeah, <laughs> so I really like, uh, I like a good coffee. So basically what happens within the roasting is there'll be an endothermic temperature um, up to sort of about the 16 to 17 minute mark when it first starts to crack and then it becomes exothermic so that basically means it's holding its own temperature and it's, it's like it continues to cook. So what's happening now is we've got the first crack coming through and I'm just checking for the colour and listening for the sound. So that'll disappear for a, about a minute or two and then um, the, it'll start to crack a second time. Once it starts to become a little bit louder that's when I'll pull, pull the roast out. The last few minutes I'm just sort of checking every sort of 10 seconds to see what, um, what it's looking like and what it's sounding like as well. It does give off a little bit of a smell as well, so like if it's, um, if it's over roasted you're definitely going to smell that. Um, fortunately I've only ever burnt one roast out of about 2,000 that I've done, so it's not, not too bad. <laughs> the colour's looking good, the sound's starting to become a bit louder now, and so I'm basically just about to pull that out now. There we have it. So now basically the cooling tray is um, coming through, so the cold air is coming up, and that's basically going to take about five minutes for that to cool down. Um, because it's at that temperature that we talked about, basically that needs to cool down fairly quick. Um, so the cold air will come through, and that's going to take about five minutes. So after the beans have finished cooling down, what we do is we put it into the distoner. And so what that does is it gets rid of any pebbles or stones that might be in the roast. Um, or you know anything else that's heavier than the beans themselves. And so the beans will um, shoot up into the distoner and then from there we put them into the buckets, we label them and with a batch number and depending on what roast it is and then it gets sent away to our distribution centre um, in Christchurch and they do the packaging and grinding um, on their end. It goes out from there to the, um, to the customers that we supply. So thanks very much, that was a quick overview of coffee roasting here at Coffee Works. Come check out our cafe and roastery uh, here in Mangura on the corner of Blacker Street and Ashley Street. Come and get a coffee off us, hope to see you soon.